Hey, so welcome back, and here's another daily code problem. So today we're doing the question called uh, find the duplicate number. And so all that we're given here is an array where it's essentially just a list of integers such that there's always going to be uh, one and only one uh, duplicate. Now, that duplicate number could repeat more than one time. It could repeat like, or more than twice, sorry, it could repeat like three times. Um, however, there's only going to be one number that has duplicates in this array. And then the other thing that's guaranteed is the numbers within this array are going to be between one to n, where n is basically the length of this array. So here there's five numbers. And so it's going to be, uh, all these numbers will be between the range of one to five and one number will be duplicated. So what we wanna do is return the duplicate number, but the catch here is that we wanna do this without extra space. So the kinda simple uh, way of designing this algorithm that you typically do for like the easy level approach is just you use a set here um, and using that said set, you could just look up, okay, what numbers have I seen so far? And just kind of with each iteration, add the numbers you've seen to the set until you find a duplicate. Uh, but that wouldn't be using constant space, that would be using O of N space, so we can't do that. Um, the other approach that we could use is like uh, sorting, which would be like N log N, um, but that would be implemented using like merge sort underneath and that also uh, has space there because basically you could sort it and then just keep iterating until like the current number and the one that we just looked at previously are the same. That's another way we could find the duplicate. Um, but what we're actually going to do is use an algorithm called uh, Floyd's uh, cycle detection algorithm. And so if you haven't seen this before, it's typically on a uh, most easy level a linked list problems where you're given a linked list here uh, like so but you want to detect whether or not there's a cycle so basically this algorithm by Floyd uh, is able to find these cycles and so we're going to actually apply it to an array here in order to find these duplicate numbers and so the way we do this is basically we're going to treat these numbers as basically indices or pointers to an index. And so at index zero, it points to index one. So it's going to say, we, will, we can go from one to three because this is index one, while this is index zero. And then three or index one can then go to index three, uh, which is this one here, right? Because this one's index three and so forth. And so essentially, what these are uh, intuitively doing is that they're actually pointing to different parts and it's kind of like a linked list here where these are nodes and then the values at each index is simply the edge to another node. All right, so the way you can detect this cycle is that because there's two edges to the index uh, two here, that inherently creates that cycle just like we see in Floyd's uh, linked list detection algorithm. And so we're essentially just replicating uh, Floyd's detection or cycle detection algorithm uh, on this array here. We're just kind of adjusting that same core algorithm to work now with an array rather than a linked list. Okay, so I'll just write out kind of the blueprint code that you always write out for Floyd, uh, but we're going to tweak it so that it works with an array. All right, and so Typically what you have here is a fast and slow pointer, or they also call it like the, the rabbit or the tortoise and the hare, kind of like turtle and the rabbit. Uh, but just for simplicity, we'll call it a fast and slow pointer. And so initially they're just going to be uh, looking at the value stored at the first index. So they're both going to start at the beginning. And so we'll just keep iterating. And the way that uh, we see that there's a uh, cycle here, is when they meet at the same point. So basically, if fast is equal to slow, essentially Floyd's algorithm proves that if one's going twice the speed, one like does two hops each iteration, which is a fast pointer, and one pointer does uh, a single hop each iteration, eventually, uh, if there's a cycle, they'll catch up. That's like the, uh, the proof or the kind of true value of this algorithm is just one goes twice as fast, one goes half as fast. Um, and so therefore, 
if they catch up to each other, that means that there must be a cycle and eventually they cross paths. Okay, and so uh, basically this end condition is going to be okay. If they're equal to each other, we found the number or at least we found a point where they meet. Okay, and so now to actually get this end case, we have to uh, all, uh, basically allow them to traverse their speeds. And so fast is equal to basically uh, the hop from a other hop. So what this is basically doing is fast is basically the edge or the value uh, that's current that we're currently looking at. And then each time we index to that value, we're basically hopping across that edge. And so because we're using the fast pointer here, we're going to do uh, two hops, which is why we're doing like uh, two indexes here. But then for the slow, we only want to do a single hop. And so we do it like so. All right, so the way Floyd's uh, cycle detection algorithm works now is the next thing that you wanna do is although this proves here um, that we have a cycle, so this basically proves we have a cycle, the next thing that we wanna do is find where the cycle is. So find where the cycle is. And so to do that, all that you have to do using his algorithm is that you just reset the fast pointer uh, to the very beginning of the linked list or the array here and you just make them go the same speed. So prove we have the cycle by going two times and one times speed. But now we can find if there's a cycle by resetting both to one time speed. All right, and so basically by resetting the, basically the rabbit to the start of the list again and allowing them both to just hop a uh, single time each iteration, rather than the rabbit going twice the speed, uh, we're able to actually find the point at which uh, there is the cycle. Okay, and so what you do here is, once again, we just reset fast to the beginning, and then we just say, okay, while they do not equal each other, then we want to uh, keep going here, like so. So I'm just going to paste this uh, what we did earlier, except we only want to do a single hop each iteration. And then finally, once they've met and they've intersected, we found where the cycle is. And so we could just return either pointer here. We'll just uh, return the slow one, but it doesn't matter. All right, and let's run that. And accepted. So that's uh, today's uh, Lico problem here, I believe. There we go. It just got accepted. So this runs in O of N. Uh, time complexity, but it's also constant space, so it meets that uh, O of 1 space complexity that they outline uh, in this problem here. All right, so yeah, I hope that helped a little bit, and uh, good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.